Well, 2011 was the Cleveland Public Library's 142nd year of existence, and it was a phenomenal year for us. There are three accomplishments that I'd really like to feature and uh, that stand out over the year. The first accomplishment was the downtown destination plan. One of the things that we really wanted to do with the downtown destination was tie ourselves into the fact that we had a Cleveland renaissance going on downtown. And we recognized that we wanted to be a part of how that was going to grow. Um, Cleveland's going to be a much different place three years from now, and we couldn't see the Cleveland Public Library not being a part of that. And that's what the downtown destination is all about. The plan took the reorganization of the main library and our Lewis Stokes wing and separated them into five phases over five years. And so far we've been able to accomplish uh, a number of things for our first phase, including a sports research center that's received rave reviews from our community and a great, receives great attendance on a continual basis. Um, we are currently in the process of finishing up the um, design for Tech Central, which will be a state-of-the-art technology center. Our second accomplishment that we're very proud of is a program called MyTunes. And MyTunes is a collaboration with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and it allows us to do something that no other library is doing across the country, which is to collaborate with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and feature their artists while working with a company called Freegal, in which we were able to uh, provide our community with three free downloads of songs per week. And uh, the, the reception has been wonderful for it and our, our numbers have jumped by 500%. And it's, a, it's, it's an accomplishment because it's showing how we can take technology and include our communities outside of coming into our libraries. And then the third accomplishment that we're really proud of is Clevenet. And Clevenet expanded over 2011, and it's something that we're really proud of because it shows that our community and library community has really bought into what the Cleveland Pub Public Library provides for northern Ohio. So we were able to expand from 31 library systems that are a part of this consortium uh, of 10 million items to 37 libraries. And uh, with that we were able to reach and go from nine counties that we serve to 10 counties across northern Ohio. Well our, our most difficult challenge was the d a challenge of finances. Uh, it's just nothing new to us. We've been facing it for the past three years, um, going from a budget of $69 million to a budget of $56 million in 2011. But one of the things that, that that challenge taught us was that we can become a more efficient library and we can find better ways of serving our community. And sometimes in our most difficult times as a library financially have been the times that we've found ways to innovate at levels that um, communities have, haven't seen before. And so while the finances have been a, uh, a great difficulty for us, it has offered us an opportunity to start thinking about how we can provide services in a different way. I think one of the things that our community sees is that we provide a lot more services online. 30% of the items that we check out are items that people select at home from the computer. So that we have made a service and the use of their library much easier than it ever was before. Uh, another challenge that we face, and this is a challenge that I, I, I face on a continual basis, is the challenge of will libraries be around? Are libraries going to be around five years from now? And I think one of the, the things that we try to do on that is to make sure that community knows of the, the things outside of the box that we do, things that are not what they may have re remembered themselves as a, a remembered as a young person of how libraries were, um, but rather of where we are, are going in the future. Um, another challenge that we had to face was the challenge of providing the same level of service or, or better services with that, that we wanted to do with fewer staff members. Um, we went from having 850 staff members in 2009 to having 700 staff members in 2011. And we had to look at how we could, through efficiencies, provide the same level of service. One of the questions that I'm always asked when I go out and speak at the community is, is libraries really going to be around five years from now? 
And one of the things that we recognize in libraries, and especially in the Cleveland Public Library, is that we have to move away from the service model that says we're going to be doing it from a transactional standpoint. It's just you come in, we give you an item, to more of a transformational model. And a great example of this is what we've been able to do with our summer lunch program for our young people. Um, one of the things that we recognize in our communities is that the children who would usually get their one good lunch per day or one good meal per day would be coming into what they'd get that from the schools during the fall and during the, the spring months, but they would not get that during the summer. So this past year we gave out nearly 20,000 free lunches for our community in the libraries because we recognize that we have to be transformational and the transformational model is recognizing that we have to get through the barriers that young people have or any of our public has to receiving learning and, and knowledge and not being able to have food is a barrier. So it's a transformational model of we're going to see what we can do to remove those barriers for our young people so that they can then go out and, and receive learning. And that was, it was very successful for us and the young people came in, they received their lunch and then they had a summer reading program. One of the things I think that uh, people don't see is how we're transitioning technologically. I talk to people all the time about how they can go online and download books, download audio books, download movies, uh, download songs through the Cleveland Public Library's website and not even have to come in their library as they remember it um, from when they were young. And so we are changing as an organization and libraries are changing as a profession. Um, and Cleveland Public Library is a great example of that. Statistically, 2011 was a great year for us. We had nearly four million people enter our doors, seven million checkouts, 10,000 programs, 150,000 um, attendees. We had nearly a million people use our computers for over 500,000 hours. But it's really not about the statistics. We believe we're a five-star library because of what we do for our community and how we change people's lives. I get letters all the time from people thanking me for how our staff has helped them to get their GED. Our staff has worked with them so that they were able to finish their resume and get that job that they were looking for, how they were able to um, work on their school work, whether they were children who were working in school or people working on their PhDs. We were there to change people's life and, and uh, we believe we were a five-star library because we were the Cleveland's place to dream, create, and grow. In 2012, we're going to strengthen our commitment to being the People's University. Um, our strategic planning uh, is in place in that we have five strategic priorities. The first priority is to form communities of learning. Cleveland Public Library has always been known as a, an unbelievable institution of learning. Um, that's our history. But what we want to do is take what we have here and leverage that with what we have in the community. That's why we're going to be working with a number of different groups in the community and collaborating with a number of different agencies to leverage our, our assets and our resources with their resources to create these communities of learning. An area, for example, might be working with the Cleveland Institute of Music, working with the Music Settlement, working with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, tying that into our resources that we have uh, on music and our books and our CDs and things of that nature so that we can tie those all together, leverage them, and create this community of learning. The second priority is to fight community deficits. One of the pieces that we've been challenged on um, a great deal is the idea that the Cleveland Public Library can be a community deficit fighter. I believe that why we cannot succeed as a library unless we become a community deficit fighter because our whole job in being a library for the Cleveland community is to do the things that are going to make the Cleveland community successful. When you look at children who may not have food, and that's a deficit for them, how can they succeed? How can they think about reading when they are hungry? So there are barriers that are there to learning, to reading, to knowledge. Community deficit fighting is just simply working with the tools and resources that you have to bring down those barriers to stop those challenges 
so that the young people and everyone who has some deficit that stops them from being able to reach that level of knowledge that they'd like to have is, is able to reach the goals that they're wanting. And we're going to do the things that we can to make that happen. The third priority is ready for the future, our Cleveland Public Library at 150. The Cleveland Public Library is 143 years old. And as we look to our celebration of 150 years of providing services to the Cleveland community, we're looking at how are we going to provide services in a different way. Um, we have already been a, a leader in how we provide services online, but we know that there are going to be different services that we have to provide for the future, and we need to start looking at that right now. We want to be a trendsetter on how libraries provide services to their community. The fourth priority is to cultivate a global perspective. I've recently moved to Cleveland three years ago, and one of the things that I find to be truly an asset to this city is the global perspective that it has from the fact that it has so many um, different groups from uh, different immigrants from different countries that have come here and, and, and found its way in this city. That's something that we want to feature in the future here at the Cleveland Public Library because it's, it's a great knowledge tool for so many of us to be able to learn about the different cultures that is, is such a part of the Cleveland city and has been such a part of its success. And the fifth priority is innovate for efficient and sustainable operations. It's basically just doing more with less. And so we've moved from a, a budget of $69 million in 2009 to the budget that we're going to have of $53 million in 2012. We've been able to do that and provide a level of service that has continued to make us a five-star library. Um, we've been honored because we've been able to take our technology and create a process in which we've been able to provide the services at the same level and the community hasn't seen any difference. It's going to get more and more difficult as time goes by with the financial constraints that we are under, but we wanted to make sure that the community knew that we take the expenditure of their tax dollars very, uh, um, uh, very seriously and we want to make sure that that's a part of our strategic plan. Our success is, is, is going to depend on not if we keep looking back at our past 142 years, but that we keep looking forward to what the next 150 years will be like. And in that, if, as long as we keep our eye on the prize, and the prize is what, do our, what will our community want from us? And then we keep asking them that question and we keep listening to them, we'll be successful for a very long time. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Cleveland Public Library's staff and our community who we serve. The community has stood by us as we've had some very difficult times over the past three years. But I'm very, very committed as your director to making sure that you're going to have the best library in the country. While our rankings may say that we're the fourth best library in the country, I know that the Cleveland Public Library is the first library in your heart. So we thank you for all that you do for us.